Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Seashell here. Thank you for coming back and checking out all of the projects and things that have been done for the hashtag 12 Days with Elise and Rhonda. And this is day six, and it's all about reindeers. So I wanted to show you some of the uh, things that I have uh, displayed in my um, my dining room, actually. Uh, I made this particular charger. I made that a, a couple of years ago, and I used that as a part of my tablescape uh, for my dining room table when I was decorating with the reindeers. And these are just some that uh, I got. I think I may have got these from Dollar Tree or could have been Walmart. But aren't they gorgeous? And I have two of those. And then this, like I said, this is a charger. And I got these little small pieces a couple of years ago from Target. And then I found this piece, and I attached that onto the center. And this was just a wood, um, just a wood piece, wood charger. And actually, it just only had this Christmas tree on there. And so I found these stickers and things, and I put those on there. So now that's part of my uh, tablescape. So I've had this for, I've had this for a while. So in the last video, I said that I was going to show you guys something special. And I, um, I'm so excited to share this with you um, because I, I'm just amazed at how it turned out. So I created... Um, a little vignette using reindeer and this is what I made I know right <laughs> I tell you I got this box and I actually got three of these and let me move this out the way so I don't want to distract from this uh, element here. And we're going to we'll zoom in a little bit so you can see. This is one of those uh, reindeer I got from Dollar Tree a couple of years ago, I think it was. And yeah, you guys seen those. And then I used some of this paper in the background that looks like a little forest. And to fit this inside, I had to adjust the antlers. So I removed them from the way they were, cut them down, and then reattached them. And then... I have some of this little holly that I added on to um, this little bow, little ribbon here, and I attached that. And then these are some of these little, um, what do you call these little thing? Pine cones. I was going to call them acorns because I know it's what I said one time before. And I had to think about it. Pine cones. And then these are just little... Uh, Little ornaments, little white uh, balls that came with uh, another piece that I had uh, that I picked up from Hobby Lobby from the uh, my little Christmas. And then this piece uh, came in a swap. A friend of mine, we did some uh, die cuts for swaps, and this was sent to me. And so I just thought that that would be pretty cool just to put that there and then in the back 
I've just got some greenery tucked in there. Uh, and you can't see it hardly, but there's a, a little tree in the back. And it's resin. And I made like a couple of those little resin trees and I just stuck that in the back. It's kind of hard to see them. And then on the side, or on the roof, I used some of those... Uh, pop sticks and I just lined it to make it like it was a roof and then I used some of my uh, Christo, Christo, <laughs> my uh, Nouveau drops um, in white just to mimic give it like a little snow effect and then I sprinkled some of the uh, that faux snow that we get in the bag from Dollar Tree. Sprinkled that on there. And it worked out pretty good. I was impressed. But yeah, this is the little bag of little full snow that I use. And then I lined the, the sticks on the side. And what I was going to do, and I'm still going to do this, I need to paint this red. But for now, I think it just turned out so cute. And then I lined the bottom with the sticks just so that it could sit up. So it could have little legs to sit up. So that is my special reindeer project. And I absolutely love the way it turned out. So this is the box. I'm going to move this. This is the box that I had got from Dollar Tree and they came in different sizes and I got this this past summer and it was different sizes it was this one and this one and then a smaller one and so um, I wanted to find one that would fit so it wouldn't fit this one so when I got this one I was like okay that's good that'll work so that is my special reindeer project and this will go in my um living room around my christmas tree as a part of my decor and i just think that it turned out so nice and if you have any questions or any thoughts of you know how to make this i'd be happy to try to do another tutorial um, or either just walk through, you know, and explain. But it, it's pretty self-explanatory, you know, if you can get one of these boxes. You don't even have to have this one. You can have a square box, a little shadow box. And I think it will work. And, yeah, so that is my project. And I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So tell me what you think. And yep, there we go. And I had um, I had some other little reindeers too. Uh, actually, I had these little gold ones, and I had just found these because if I if I had found this earlier, I probably would have put that one in there like that. But I may make another box. But those are my my little reindeer projects. So thank you for joining for another wonderful day of the hashtag 12 days with Elise and Rhonda and the day let's see day seven is going to be about elves and then day eight will be snowmen day nine will be stars day 10 will be cookies Day 11, presents, and then the final 12th day, Santa. So be sure to go check out all of the other uh, participants in this, uh, this fun collaboration uh, to get some holiday inspiration. I'm sure that you will find that uh, everyone has done their absolute wonderful, spectacular best to bring some holiday cheer. 
So thank you again for joining me. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Stay crafty. Happy holidays. And we'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.